So, you have different phobias, right? Don't even try to form Van Damme. You probably have a phobia for something. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to another exciting episode of Pillow Talk with Dr. O. You already know. Okay, I'm not going to wrap today. I got you. I'm not wrapping today. Today, we're discussing a very interesting topic. A topic that not many people know about. Yeah, but it actually exists. And there are actually people that have this problem, okay? But this is Pillow Talk, so we need to discuss it. And the topic we're discussing is coitophobia. So someone is like, huh? You said? what is coitophobia so coitophobia is simply the fear of sexual intercourse so you know how you have uh maybe phobia for heights phobia for being in enclosed spaces phobia for insects like me that one is self-disclosure i have phobia for insects especially cockroach we're not best friends at all so yeah people have different phobia phobia is a fear of anything phobia is basically fear fear you have for something right so people have different phobias right don't even try to form Van Damme. You probably have a phobia for something. You cannot not have a phobia for something, right? In some other people's cases, their own phobia is phobia for sexual intercourse. So the way you enjoy sexual intercourse is not the way that people enjoy it. Some people are actually scared. The thought of sexual intercourse is scary for them. When they think about it, they start sweating. They start getting anxious. Their heart starts beating faster. They're like, oh my God, do I have to? Do I have to? Do I really have to? Yeah, it's a thing. And it's actually serious for some people, right? A thing of pleasure can actually cause fear. So it's something that needs to be addressed. And trust me, if you are going through this, you're not alone. Just speak with a doctor today and the problem can be solved, okay? So we're talking about this today just for you. If you know anyone that is possibly going through this or you suspect is going through this, please don't forget to share this video with them. What are the causes of coitophobia? What can possibly cause you to be scared of sexual intercourse? To be fearful of even the thought of having sexual intercourse, right? One of the causes is actually something I've called vaginismus. And the good thing is I have a whole video dedicated to that in this pillow talk playlist. So you can just scroll around and look for it for vaginismus and watch it so you learn all about vaginismus. But in summary, vaginismus is basically when the muscles surrounding your vagina they just contract involuntarily, right? So when they contract, it causes pain on penetration and it makes intercourse painful for you. So of course, when intercourse is painful for you, you never look forward to it in fact it's a horrible experience for you and it's going to be scary so you definitely develop coitophobia if this is your problem the good thing is there are solutions there are things that we can do to solve this and i discussed it in that other video so just go watch that other video after watching this one now the next thing that could cause coitophobia and this one happens in men is erectile dysfunction and again i have a whole video dedicated to that where i explained erectile dysfunction in detail down to the causes treatment and everything so again it's on this pillow talk playlist if you haven't watched it after watching this jump right over there and watch that video but for those benefits of those that are not what i'm just going to say in a simple sentence erectile dysfunction is when a man has difficulty achieving or attaining an erection or maintaining it so some men cannot even get an erection some can get but they can't keep it right that's when you have erectile dysfunction and of course if you have this then of course you're going to be like every time you want to have it because like hey god this is my partner am i going to have an erection this time if i have an erection am i going to be able to keep it you know you start getting anxious and nervous about things that people don't normally get nervous about again like i discussed in my erectile dysfunction video there are treatments available for you depending on the cause you just need to find out what is the cause and then we can administer the appropriate treatment but the only way to do this is to see a doctor so man please don't be shy go see your doctor there is nothing doctors have not seen nothing you're going to tell them is new to them we've seen it all so don't feel like oh it's only you don't feel like we're going to look at you like eh what is that no please we've seen it also please don't be shy go and speak with your doctor so the problem can be solved another thing that affects both men and women but especially men is something that we call performance anxiety okay and men that usually go through this are men that have premature ejaculation or even erectile dysfunction so for performance anxiety is when you're anxious or you're worried about how you're going to perform in bed right before sexual intercourse you're already thinking oh my god am i going to be good this time is she going to think i'm good in bed am i going to satisfy my partner are they going to think i suck and all those kind of things right that is performance anxiety and when you constantly feel like you're not good enough in bed when you constantly feel like you're not good enough to satisfy your partner or something then you're going to develop coitophobia because every time you think about sexual intercourse you're going to be like oh my god do i really have to do this do we really have to do this i don't want to disgrace myself you know 
know, is she going to think I'm good? <laughs> is she going to still stay married to me after this? Or are we going to break up? You know, so if this is your problem, you need to work on yourself. You need to build your confidence. You need to know that you are good enough. And if for any reason there is something that is preventing you from being your best in the other room, then you need to address it. For example, if it's premature ejaculation, I have a whole video dedicated to that again. Actually, not just one, two videos. It's also in this pillow talk um, playlist. So you can go look at it, watch it. Remember when the um, the first step to solving a problem is knowing the cause. So when we know the cause of the problem, we can actually solve it for you. So make sure you go over and watch that video. Again, see your doctor, see your doctor, see your doctor. Your doctor can help you to solve the problem. Your doctor should be your best friend, okay? Because we have the solution to most of the medical problems that you have. So another thing that causes people to have coitophobia is post-traumatic stress disorder. So this happens to people that have a history of sexual abuse or rape right so sexual abuse can be rape rape is a form of sexual abuse and trust me this is a very horrible experience for people that have experienced it in fact most people that have been through rape may not want to talk about it right it's that bad that they don't want to talk about it. they don't want to remember it and so especially if rape was their first sexual experience every time they think of sex they just remember the whole rape experience and it just makes them you know feel scared about having intercourse and all that so if you're going through this you're not alone just speak with your doctor and we can help put you through right i'll be talking about some of the things that we can do you know to solve this problem if this is you another thing is like i said people that have been through sexual abuse so this might not necessarily be rape but people that maybe were abused sexually when they were young maybe they didn't rape them but maybe they started touching them inappropriately at a young age maybe they were exposed to sexual intercourse at a young age against their will and stuff like that. there are many many children that go through this right if this is you you can always speak with someone and the problem can be solved will help you to get right through it and you'll be fine again believe me many people have suffered from this many people have gone through this but right now they are good and they are enjoying intercourse because they went through therapy yeah let me just spill the beans for people that are going through things like post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of sexual abuse or rape or people that are going through performance anxiety psychotherapy can help you to get through this it might take a while right so you need to be patient it doesn't happen overnight room was not built in a day but you definitely get through it. That's the watchword and that's the most important thing, okay? So just keep your eyes on the prize, like I always say in my TTC diaries, and you achieve your goal. So the last thing I want to discuss that causes gotophobia is body shaming, right? So when you feel like, oh, you don't look good when you're naked, your body is not nice, your body is not beautiful, maybe I have stretch marks, I have flat, I have folds, um, my partner is not going to think I'm attractive, blah, 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 blah. Trust me, especially as women, we go through this at one point or the other. For some, it's after childbirth. For some, it's maybe for some reason they gained weight and they're like, nah, my partner will not appreciate me or something like that. Yeah, everyone has this, even men, even men. Some men might think that, oh, the size of their organ is too small or they might think that they have pot belly or something, you know, everybody goes through this. And if your case is extreme where it now starts to affect your self-confidence and your self-esteem and you don't even want to get naked in front, your, in front of your partner and stuff like that then you might start to dread the thought of sexual intercourse because sometimes it involves taking off your clothes right so you're like nah i don't want someone to see me like this you know i don't want to be vulnerable i don't want them to start thinking blah 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 especially if you're the kind of person that normally uses waist trainer all these things so that everybody doesn't know your real body right sexual intercourse is obviously going to reveal that so you you don't want that and then you start to have fear of oh gosh it's time to have intercourse do i really want to should i create an excuse to run away should i do this should i do that you know so that's part of the reasons why people might have fear of sexual intercourse again if this is you psychotherapy is something that will help you will help you to work on your self-confidence your self-esteem and trust me if you have a partner going through coitophobia the best thing you can do for them is to be supportive they need your support they need your understanding and they need your maximum cooperation and help right so just be as supportive as you possibly can and help them get through this phase if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to click the like button subscribe and share with anyone you think might need to see this like i always say your sexual health is equally as important as your general health and well-being. See you next week.